A very very gracious welcome to the enlightened youth of this country. I am Anam Ahmed from the platform of Pencil Box Education. I want to welcome you to the Hindu newspaper analysis. Today is 3rd September 2018. So what are we waiting for? Here we go. So I have this brief little information about who I am, where do I come from. So I have done my graduation and masters in psychology from Delhi University. Have all kind of experiences in offline and offline teaching. Have also been a part of Vajnam and Ravi. Uh, have also made a full fledged course at W. www.studyiq.com uh, for a uh, psychology optional people who want to take up this subject to write the UPSC mains and state services mains and also genuine people are invited over to join the family and do check out the course uh, for people who are really interested in psychology and links are down in the description below so this will remain the pattern of our discussion starting with an amazing inspiring koti voti and ending on a math practice question so let us see what do we have here for us today uh, lord krishna inspiring us with this beautiful amazing inspiring uh, sentence word or saying since the entire country is actually celebrating the beautiful festival of janmashtami so i take that responsibility to wish you all and wish all my subscribers and listeners happy happy janmashtami to you and do celebrate this this day with all the zeal and all the enthusiasm and excitement and also also have this as, as your habit as a, ha- have it as a part of your life that whenever a festival is coming around whenever you are actually hearing about a festival being celebrated in our country even if it is not of your cultural background or your religion or you do not really celebrate it as a family or your family custom doesn't really allow you to celebrate that but you should really know its significance for example why janmashtami is has been you know it has been celebrated so far in the country and what significance does it have in hinduism and a um, lot krishna was born so what are his positive contributions to uh, the religion of hinduism and what are his positive um, uh, sayings or positive teachings so if we kind of try and learn positive thought, thoughts and positive values and positive morals from all the religions will be like multi religious person who is very much secular in its decisions and thinking so i guess whenever we are becoming a a, be, a, a more secular person with with the with the habit of respecting every religion and also inculcating good things from other religion it is like you will be at the end a very very knowledgeable person whenever you will be like um, Uh, having a festival around and you can like educate people around you okay this festival has been celebrated for this significance i mean diwali is something which uh, i mean many of us know that why it has been celebrated but festivals like holi or janmashtami or or smaller festivals which keep on coming and we keep on hearing about them we really really do not know the i mean major significance behind that so it's always good to know the stories it's always good to know the history and there is a lot 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 to learn from the past from the present so that we can build a very very effective and a very positive amazing future so we have this very beautiful quote put up uh, by uh, put up uh, for us by lord krishna there are there are three gates to self destructive hell i mean three important uh, areas wherein the humans have to actually work upon to actually um avoid going to hell and that is lust having any kind of lust or indulging in aggression or anger emotion and greed i mean greed is something which we should very much refrain as human beings because greed actually make us a make a make a make us a very um, unethical person we are like um, almost almost trying to compromise in our standards and values and ethics and and all of the um, uh, the qualities in which uh, qualities that a very ethical person has so we are like ready to compromise everything for fulfilling the greedy needs that we have so of course um, greed is something we should very much refrain from so this is how you're going to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an update from us and also i really want to thank you all for extending i mean immense support to me i i really do expect that you keep on supporting me in the future as well and also people who haven't subscribed to our channel yet so please kindly subscribe to the channel and um, so that it can like really encourage 
encourage me help me grow so that i can like bring in more content for you and i really invite you over for all the suggestions i have my email id also given in these lectures and also the comment section that you can use down below and here you have a, a fb page that i've made for you be a part of the family and do give it a big thumbs up do like it links are again down in the description below and also this telegram group that i have created for your convenience and i'll be using this platform whenever i have to like uh, make some announcements or connect to you or um, provide you pdf links of the entire discussion that i'm making so i really expect you to download these links download the entire discussion entire monthly discussion have your own magazine being made out of that and also edit it with a lot of background analysis questions that i have been asking in between with with a lot of um, editing that you can do on your own so yeah just have your own monthly magazine being made out of the hindu newspaper discussion because you also know that it is of utmost importance in today's time whenever the preparation has to be uh, considered so here is my facebook profile as well that you can like follow me up here and also instagram i really need you to support me really because it really counts i mean even the one 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 drop is is like constituting the entire ocean so yeah i really do uh, seek your support so here we have couple of editorials for us to speculate upon the first one really talks about the risk remain i mean this article is actually talking about the recent um, report made by rbi about the um, uh, 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 made by rbi regarding a lot of um, i mean economic health and the gdp functioning and uh, a lot of um, i mean a lot of criticism that had been uh, you know uh, put forward in front of the government uh, regarding policies like gst or demonetization so we had like really seen economy going down these years but now we have like 8.2 growth rate being recorded so far so yeah, Yeah, it is a good victory um, situation or scenario in the country so yeah we'll be focusing few points out of that here retail therapy is actually talking about the recent 2 plus 2 dialogue that is very much uh, anticipated one that is a very much looked forward one that is a very much ex uh, thing that we are actually excited for india and usa as like going to talk about a lot of defense engagements a lot of other policies trade and all that um, areas they're going to touch upon specifically the defense engagements that we have today with the united states of america and how to like really encourage it further how to promote it further how to regulate it further so yeah we'll be also talking about few points out of this um this article talks about the new i mean peace making process with the new pakistan because we have a new prime minister he's in his josh he's in his excitements talking about positivity love and engagement and talks so yeah we will be like uh, pinpointing few few points um whenever we have to i mean some points you have to keep handy on your fingertips whenever we have uh, whenever we have to re really write about or talk about india and pakistan relationship so yeah we'll be revising those points very effectively this article talks again about the role of disaster management authority in our country and catastrophic events that india has been experiencing because, because much of our states are very much prone to earthquakes or floods or um, i would say drought so all these situations uh, we are not very much immune from so we do really need mechanism and authority and regulation and plans and all of that all of the support that we can get from the government so yeah this article is also something we have to focus upon the next article here on the second page is talking about the protecting our journalists protecting the free uh, speech givers protecting the activists protecting the ngo workers who have been scrutinized brutally who have been harassed brutally by the authorities in question so yeah supreme court has also denied supreme court has also very much discouraged such activities which are taking place in the country and these people are actually actually being charged under lawful activities law so yeah we'll be focusing few points out of that article as well this article is none of our business because we have editor in chief of the hindu to replying to all the letters which the readers have been writing to him so yeah this is not something which will come in the upsc prelims or mains here again the article writer is trying to talk about the different interpretations that people have regarding the constitution so yeah we'll be focusing few points out of that article as well so let us discuss let us start our discussion with the first article of the day which is talking about the good news our economy has for now we have the good environment the good performance of uh, the performance card of the 
economy which is going really great and it has overcome all those problems which we had really really suffered from whenever the demonetization had happened in November 2016 and, and 2017 July we had witnessed the implementation of GST system world I mean sorry India wide so all the states had like joined in and GST was being implemented and the new businesses were being really affected because GST files and tax returns and I mean whenever a new system is introduced of course you really need to understand that people are, are not very much educated they are really not very much known or to the system or they are not very much good with the e-filings and online platforms. so all of that took time and now that we have like two years um, uh, I mean two years really um, you know went away or two years have really passed so now the report card is showing good progress so Indian economy grew at an impressive rate of 8.2 percent in the April June that is quarter one of the country so we have the financial year starting from the first April and which ends on 31st March so this is the financial year of our country so yeah i mean the first quarter talks about good growth and we are very much optimistic that we will be having a good good progress when it comes to economy and its decision so you can like see a very brief analysis that the, the that the hindu ha, the hindu has put up for us that uh, quarter one in 2016 and 17 the gdp was doing fine but then quarter two it really dipped because again in 2016 to 17 the demonetization we had witnessed then 2017 and 18 we had witnessed gst now you can see that it was at its low but then now with both of the programs which were being implemented and people have really you know got adjusted to that they have known the system well they have known the entire process well and it is more i mean it, i mean all the fallouts of gst network or gst council it has all been sorted out so whenever you are like dealing with a country which has like one of the huge population of the country we are almost almost giving a very great big tucker to china and we are like almost racing ahead of china and in in few years we are like having that deadline that we'll be crossing china when we when we talk about population growth and boom that our country is actually having so uh, keeping in mind that the huge population we have the different federal system that we have the states have their own powers over such uh, issues and programs so yeah all of that took time to be Im i mean to implement and all that time we took to educate the people around to know the system well so now finally the economy is showing its result and we are very much optimistic regarding the economic development in 2018 and 2019 but still there are there have been people who are talking about various issues in economy like whether whether it comes to the foreign investors or banking sector or service sector or agriculture is also an and uh, i mean eternal part of the economy so which is also not doing that great so these uh, um, issues are also playing plaguing the economy so far so yeah gdp might work economic growth might show up but you really need to focus upon other aspects as well for example unemployment or service sector being hit manufacturers being hit and importers exceeding export imports are exceeding export cad is doing bad physical deficit is also not that i mean not that doing great and all of that so yeah these parameters whenever the economy and its health are coming these points are to be kept handy for you because whenever mains answer writings are coming you're like impression jamao five things have to be very much present on your fingertips all right the second article talks about the two plus two dialogue that we are very much optimistic about between india and usa it's about to happen on 6th september and our prime minister is really really ready with his suit boots and pants and and shoes and charter planes and all of that he's like very much ready sitting with his <laughs> sitting with his um, uh, briefcase with all those agenda so we are very much optimistic about the defense acquisition council decisions which are being pending and uh, we are very much um, i mean uh, focused upon buying in a lot of drones from united states of america when it comes to sea vigilance or navigation or a lot of technology in defense sector per se i mean specifically in 
defense we really want engagements from united states of america so when the defense sector has to be talked about so this law which is like really um questionable it is like um the i mean uh, the first condition which has been kept by usa on which uh, they really seek india's support and india's negotiation on which is com casa it meant it meant to provide a legal framework for transfer of communication security equipment from Uni uh, united states of america to india so whenever whenever we talk about uh, the communication problems like in the military um military equipments like in submarines or in drones or in or a fighter plane so all those communication system are not working that great or maybe in tanks so all that has to be regulated and united states of america wants cooperation from india to sign this particular uh, propaganda so that we can like uh, have uh, better facility being constructed whenever the communication has to be facilitated in defense sector um the second is to further strategic uh, partnership with the united states of america and this is your background analysis question to tell me what is the name of military exercise drill that india has with the united states of american army when it comes to uh, when it comes to navy or air force so you need to tell me down in the comment section as a part of your background analysis question the military exercises we have with the united states of america all right the third point is about the defense imports i already told you we are very much optimistic to uh, buying a drones from united states of america and we really want our drone sector to do well because drones in today's time have been like um I mean uh, one such area in which all the countries are very much interested in when it comes to agricultural monitoring or monsoon monit monitoring weather monitoring or uh, seashore monitoring or uh, security purposes or um or or various for various issues or for various uh, reasons you can use drones for and also we have to like balance it with our relationship that we have with russia and iran because for i mean russia is our old friend post world war russia has always extended support whenever we needed that so now usa and russia do not really have good relations and usa also have that which law which starts from c we have discussed in the i mean few lectures um before uh, today as well that uh, that law which starts from c a a something something you need to tell me down in the comment section which really risk tricks restricts other countries to involve with russia so if i like kind of get involved with russia usa will uh, kind of uh, decrease its engagement with us so that discriminatory laws with united states of america has which keeps it at its first uh, i mean the first condition before engaging with any nation that you have to cut down your imports from russia or bilateral relations with russia so now india is standing in, i mean uh, standing in between russia and uh, usa um with whom the i mean with whom india should like, like really maintain relationship of uh, i mean one level above and uh, i mean i mean tilt towards whom it is like that so we have been the biggest advocator of nam that is non aligned movement when when the post world war uh, scenario really happened and the whole world was being divided between allies of united states of america and allies of ussr so we have to really keep that philosophy that soul alive in our uh, foreign policies that we do not really have to tilt towards any nation and we have to really uh, make our um, list of priorities and also show a very much of neutrality whenever these issues are coming up so we really have to balance our our relationship with russia and iran and usa and all of that how are we going to do that it is still a very much questionable point so next article really talks about the dear neighborhood that we have pakistan the beloved nation the the nation with which we are having uh, that uh, beautiful relationship of uh, love and hate and every time every time we are like uh, whenever the new government is coming with a lot of enthusiasm and motivation the government is talking about very much positivity talks and we are going to solve the kashmir issue very first and um, and uh, we really love india and diaspora issue and all of the positivity that can really um, i mean take us to that flower bed in the flower world so uh, here the article writer is again uh, telling us about two important points and these points have been included by me so the two points uh, on which article writer is actually concerned the first one talks about the real democracy do you really feel that pakistan has a real democracy being implemented on its ground level so if uh, the democracy has no role to play in pakistan so this prime minister like other prime ministers of pakistan will also be like um, 
expelled for his uh, pro indian policies like nawaz sharif or benazir bhutto they have been like working against the in- interest of military and they have actually i mean suffered the consequences of that though the repercussion is really really fatal the repercussion is really bad so uh, we have to really wait and watch all the promises and propagandas and manifestos which the prime minister is actually promising us if it really works on that direction we are like the most welcoming nation for that and also uh, prime the new prime minister uh, the new prime minister imran khan talks about the deficit trade the deficit trade that we have with pakistan and also to resolve kashmir conflict which is like i mean long standing cl- conflict um, um, behind which uh, the citizens have really suffered in these two countries and also elevate poverty in the two nations and how we can like maintain the relation and um, uh, serve each other's interest and mutual interest and everything and also uh, these points have been added by me cpec issue which we have with pakistan that is china pakistan economic corridor so this is your background analysis question to again tell me what is the issue which india has been actually portraying internationally with when it comes to cpec corridor so do tell me down in the description below ki where, where from where this corridor is going from where it is starting in pakistan to where it is ending in china and all the issue that we have at least in two points sark failures of course we haven't seen sark summits happening after 2014 i guess so yeah i mean it has been four years that we do not really have a sark summit and and um, a very in very con- trust to that we have been having bin stack summits and asean summits that we have been attending or the free trade agreement with asean that we have been having or we are very much interested in the quad group which was very much recently uh, proposed um, in 2070 you have to tell me again as a part of your background analysis question who were the four nations involved in the quad group which in which uh, we were also interested in so do tell me down in the comment section the quad the quadrilateral group or we can say quad group it is also called quadri uh, lateral group so which are the four nations which were involved in that so which it was actually considered as being anti china anti pakistan so um and also uh, we have the problem with the port sorry this is port port gwadar which china has been uh, building up has been investing a lot of money in pakistan and also cpec corridor and also one belt one road initiative and we really don't want it to take place from the pakistan occupied kashmir and the siachen glacier i mean after the wars with pakistan and pakistan had really occupied pok and out of the pok part the pakistan had gifted our territory to china and that is the siachen glacier around area so we are like very much furious upon that think that you are coming and um, you know um, uh, taking uh, or uh, ceding our uh, territory and giving it to pakistan that's what india has been claiming that this is our territory but this is again internationally disputed and internationally not recognized and we the both nations are still fighting for it so yeah still i mean siachen glacier is one such issue that we have with pakistan so you uh, located on the map where it is actually present and also in the water treaty issues that we have been experiences regarding a lot of dams which india has been making on the rivers of uh, on the tributaries of rivers like ravi bias chenab so the this decreases further the volume of water in these river and these rivers are the only lifeline to pakistan so yeah i mean in this water treaty is something which you should be revising here because these points are to be kept handy whenever we have to talk about india and pakistan relationship also the cross border terrorism issue and trafficking issue and drug dealing issue a lot of drugs has been actually imported from afghanistan that golden triangle golden triangle area which is like um, in the east iran and afghanistan and pakistan ko mila kar ke that area is there golden triangle area which is very much uh, you know in news for the cultivation of various drugs so yeah a lot of cheap drugs are like infiltrate infiltrating the states of punjab rajasthan and they have been tra- i mean they have been illegally um, entered india and all that market that they have been experiencing so yeah all that uh, porous borders we have to really keep guarding that and also fake currency issue uh, regarding which we had really um, taken that decision to uh, call back our old notes of 500 and 1000 and we have introduced the new notes of 500 to and 2000 rupees 
The next article talks about the need of the Disaster Management Authority and its regulation and its facilitation and its uh, amendments and its um, changes that we really need. And all that reports uh, like Madhav Gadgil led Western Ghats. This question has been asked in prelims 2000, somewhere in 15 or 16 about w- the Gadgil report talks about which part of the country. It really talks about Western Ghats and its protection and the policies and laws which we really ne- require to actually conserve it so it really really talks about the, the the most needed bans on construction and mining activities in the areas which uh, to which the state governments have actually been blind and whenever you like compromise ecology and environment around you you are going to face the worst effect of it and the worst impact of it in the form of increased floods or the or the river flooding or increased rainfall or tsunami because when you kind of uh, you know um, um, mess up with the environment then environment is going to mess up with you that's how the entire relationship is about 70 percent of our coastal areas are very much prone to tsunamis and 60 percent are actually prone to earthquakes and 12 percent are prone to floods so we really 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 need a mechanism to actually have a protection for from these catastrophic events from which India is actually not immune at all. So we really need the resilient um, policies as well. And plus the prevention is better than cure is the statement which India really, really needs to work upon because we are very much post-incident worker. Whenever a, a thing, a cons- a, a, an incident has happened, we'll be like trying to work after that. So let us just be very much preventive in our moves and measures whenever uh, these disasters are anticipated in the months of monsoon after that so we really need to have the infrastructures being in place or um, the relief work being planned and all of that because of course you can see the number 60 percent 70 percent 12 percent we are no immune to these events in the country so uh, earthquake engineering is one such area which we really need inventions in st- till that i mean till now uh, a lot of constructions have been done with loose soil or i can say with uh, weak materials like bricks or stones or masonry was and all of that we haven't really used tough cements and tough technologies which we really need to actually incorporate in our system for the building of high rises because our country has uh, areas which comes uh, a lot of areas which come under the fourth seismic zone which is the i mean uh, one of the highest destructive zones of uh, of uh, uh, being um being hit by an earthquake for example all the himalayan belts in the north jammu and kashmir or um, state of himachal pradesh or uttarakhand delhi even delhi comes under the fourth seismic zone and also gujarat belt so these belts are really really uh, earthquake active belts and we do need the infrastructure being made on the lines of earthquake proof material and the emergency action plans we have uh, we have to really make for our country national disaster response for ndrf this is your background analysis question to tell me under which ministry it comes uh, which actually regulates it or have authority on it so do tell me down in the description below so uh, when whenever a CAG report is also talking about the abyssal abyssal ab- abysmal um, condition of of the working of NDRF we really really needs the reforms and the change in its organization and its functioning and also I mean the training of these personnel also uh, has to be the agenda I mean they are also not that trained or not fit physically or mentally or not equipped with a lot of technology and really don't know how to use those technologies so strong disaster management agency we need we need to be prepared and also the governance um, effective governance we need whenever these issues are to be talked about and also better control over transfers and deployment of personnel so these these has personal selection personal training personal guidance and equip them with a lot of uh, you know modern technologies so that they can like combat to any situation like that so yeah it is one of the way forward or suggestive measures that you can always 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 talk about whenever uh, I mean the management of a catastrophic event has to be talked about the next article talks about protecting the dissenters I mean here we have like massive interest uh, arrest that uh, our country has witnessed on August 8 Pune police was like wa- was on a manhunt for a lot of journalists and also paper uh, I mean um, paper article lighter columnist or free speakers or NGO 
NGO workers. I mean, these people have had that responsibility, that respect in our country, the book writers for their thoughts and for their prestige and for their level and all of that. I mean, that that um, respect that we had for these enlightened people. Now, they have been like molested, harassed uh, in, in the hands of authority, locked up in those lockers and lockers are filled with these people. So now the article writer is actually telling us that we really have to have to have patience, have to have, um, uh, I mean, realize that need to join hands in, in this hour where the government is like trying to impose restrictions on media, fresh uh, press, speech and expression. So yeah, we will not be uh, we will not be able to tolerate anything, any black spot on that. So fundamental right uh, really talks about the freedom of speech and expression under Article 19. So yeah, this is one such uh, fundamental rights it, which is there in news very much so uh, these people have been actually accused of being involved in um, eliciting or encouraging crowd to plot uh, a plan or uh, devise a plan to assassinate prime minister or to actually encourage bhima in korega violence or or support maratha community for the reservation or to talk about I mean, uh, evaluate or critically evaluate the government policies or talk against about the government and all of that. So these uh, people have been actually accused of that. So Supreme Court, whenever they were took to the court for hearings, the Supreme Court has actually cracked down on these authorities and they have actually said that you have been foolish in gathering evidences because actually there are no evidences against them. So whenever you have a pukta evidence against them, then only you bring them to our courts and just don't waste our time. So yeah, this is one such I mean uh, scenario which the country has been experiencing I mean my god no tolerance no patience I mean no no creative I mean, we will not be very much different to Saudi Arab or countries like Iraq they have been very much you know um, uh, being a, a hawk I mean being that vigilant being and having that eagle's eye of um, of inspection on media and its publication and media is never never free in these countries so all that drama which Al Jazeera had actually um, experienced it is a Kuwait based uh, news uh, channel and it had really uh, had invited uh, furious reactions from Saudi Arab when it was like covering wars in Syria or um, Iran uh, sanctions and all of that. So they were actually claimed to be Iran um, um, serving Iran interests. So they had really, uh, I mean, invited reactions from Saudi Arab, which were very negative. So a lot of countries had joined against publications of Al, Je Al Jazeera and they were like trying to like completely ban it or completely shut down the I mean such a big media firm so worldwide um, West Asia is no immune whenever these news have been like talked about attack on journalism so India has always always enjoyed its reputation as being secular providing rights to minority open to speech and expression and whenever I really read, read uh, editorials in Hindi they are being very evaluative and critic of the government and also appreciating good policies of the government we have been always always free whenever we have whenever we wanted to like criticize or speak about our opinions so we we really enjoyed that and we really want to maintain that mahal that atmosphere of the country and we should never never ever compromise on that the next article talks about interpretation of the constitution again the constitution writers actually made constitution 70 to 80 years back when the india was getting independent so at that time society was different and they had different mindsets so they had like written a very broad statement regarding provide everybody justice provide everybody rights and dpsp is something which uh, it is not very much enforced it is non enforceable in nature but still you have to make in your plans in harmony with these laws in, in harmony with these uh, articles so now we really need to like broadly have our broad perspective in our in our uh, mindsets that we really need broad horizon whenever we have to interpret such rules so individuals social traits and gender are regarded by the constitution as accidents of birth it has it is something on which you have no control no matter what religious cosmologies may want to say like for example banning the menstruating women from worship worshiping in temples biology does does not trump human rights perhaps alternate interpretative styles are more appropriate for other constitutional contention so that's what it is 
I mean, you were born in in a skin like that. You were born in the in the body of a female, or you were born uh, in in a Dalit community, or you were born black, or you were bl- born white, or you were born in a rich family or poor family. I mean, these by birth, the accidents of birth. I mean, these are the identities which has been there since birth, and you have no control upon that. So that should not be kept as a criteria to actually demarcate you, discriminate you in terms of facilities of public. I mean, whether it comes to work. ship or taking government assistance or or government uh, being a part of government plans or rehab policies and all of that so of course you should not really have the discrimination to be faced here we have from the economics section today um, little uh, information i thought to pick it up for you because this is one such area wherein the examiners are actually really interested in in um, i mean whenever they have to make a question on economics so public credit registry is that um, uh, i mean that talked about reform in our country that we really need such a registry to be maintained about the borrowers so whenever uh, for example i am a bank and you are my borrower you have come to take loan from me so i should have a record of your history kon kon se bank se how much loan you have actually taken and um, what are your plans to repay and what are your assets and how much money uh, you have actually borrowed from other banks or what is your monetary credibility and all of that i mean i should have a brief brief knowledge about your background and the history that is what about that is what public credit registry is talking about that it can really actually uh, lead to uh, increase in the global ease of doing business index as well this is your background analysis question to tell me who actually publishes this index very very much in news it was last Steer, so I really, really need you to tell me down in the description below the authority which is publishing these index and ranking the country so far. And uh, also, committee has suggested the registry should capture all loan information and borrowers to be able to access their own history as well. Data is to be made available to stakeholders such as banking sectors, and also uh, on a need-to-know basis. And data privacy should also be protected. I mean, one side we have to maintain the data, provide the data, and the other side we also need to provide uh, provide the right to privacy and um, not misuse that data. So today's vocabulary words for you: uh, fructify, make something fruitful or productive, rekindle, revive, neophyte, a person who is new to a subject or activity, conjecture, an opinion or conclusion formed on the basis of incomplete information. I mean, this is one activity in which we are always involved in. Insidious, uh, proceeding in a gradual, subtle way with, but with very harmful effects. Repertoire, a stock of plays, dances, or items that a company or a performer knows or is prepared to perform. Milieu, a person's social environment. So this is your map practice question for the day: continent Asia, country Israel. These are the, I mean, um, areas or uh, points that you have to locate on a physical map of Israel. Negev Desert, Golan Heights, Mediterranean Sea, and uh, Dead Sea and Sinai Peninsula, which was again a disputed property between which country? I mean, it is between Israel and which country? You have to tell me. As a part of your map practice question again: cities Tel Aviv, Haifa city, and And uh, Netanya, Beer Sheva, or Jerusalem. Uh, also, see the placement of Jerusalem. This city has been again disputed because Palestine also wants to claim it as its capital, and Israel also wants it to claim it as a capital. And India maintains its embassy in Tel Aviv. We do not recognize Jerusalem as a part of um, Israel and or uh, or as uh, the capital of Israel. We term it as disputed. We term it as being uh, secular and sovereign. And this. has been asked in upsc this year that what is the two nation policy whenever we have uh, been like talking about two nation policy in the international relationship we talk about israel and palestine relationship our relationship with israel our relationship with palestine are two different thing and we are we engage very differently with them and we always always um, Put forward or encourage two-nation policy for them. That you have to live in harmony. Uh, I, we do not really support the claim of Palestine that the whole area is theirs, and we also don't support uh, Israel that the whole area is theirs. We we say that you have to maintain the two-nation policy. Have a separate nation called Palestine. Have a separate nation of uh, called um, Israel, and work in harmony. Learn to live with each other. Uh, the first question, a bad practice question that you have for the day: Does Israel uh, has opening in Red Sea at all? And if it really has, so what is the port's name? 
एंड ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ सिटी ऑफ हाइफा एंड तीन मूर्ति भवन तीन मूर्ति मार्ग दैट वी हैव इट हैज बीन री नेम्ड वेरी रिसेंटली सो यू हैव टू टेल मी वाई इट वॉज री नेम्ड एंड वॉट इज इट सिग्निफिकेंस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इंडियन हिस्ट्री सो डू टेल मी डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर मैप प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन सो टूवर्ड्स दी एंड आई वो सी स्टेट यून टू पेंसिल बॉक्स एजुकेशन फॉर मोर वीडियोज एंड अपडेट्स इफ यू रियली लाइक द वे आर डिलीवर नॉलेज टू यू माई कंटेंट ऑल दैट मेहनत ऑल दैट लेबर दैट आई हैव बीन डूइंग प्लीज do give this video a big thumbs up this is the only guru dakshana that i seek from you the help the incentive the encouragement that i can have from you it's always good to see more views and likes and people appreciating and and if you really have complaints or suggestions to me you have my email id that i have given you for my for connected to me personally and also you can use the comment section to uh, deliver any kind of uh, suggestion or um, any kind of um, statement you have to give to me also subscribe to our channel please and also hit that bell icon so that you are like never missing an update from us and also spread a word of awareness so whoever is like preparing and whoever is this is this struggling in the same league like yours they should also get benefited out of all the information that i have been providing you here thanks a lot for being a patient listener do your background analysis questions daily be a, and really really maintain your monthly magazine and uh, summarize all of the hindu discussions that we've been doing and please please is edited effectively according to your needs and according to your conveniences be happy stay positive spread the love that's the most important thing signing off from principles education jay hind and thank you for watching